Hi everyone, this is Cody, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made this uh, spring uh, chain tensioner for this Doodlebug mini bike. Okay, so this is the Doodlebug that I upgraded to the 6.5 horse engine, and the regular chain tensioner really isn't good at all, uh, but if you just use the motor and scoot it up uh, further forward to tighten the chain, it does work, but the problem is once things settle, they always end up getting loose, the chain it seems like. Um, and then it will start popping off and that's no good and I don't like having to move the engine up all the time and the regular chain tensioner just doesn't have enough adjustment and so what I thought of doing is I'll make a spring uh, chain tensioner so that way it always stays tight it's not too tight just at the perfect tightness as you can see it moves uh, so if something were to get in the chain I think it would actually allow it to pass through because it would uh, slacken off to let that happen but you still get full power because the top part of the chain is what's tight when you're going forward not the bottom so it doesn't matter if there can be slack there um, so what I use to make it I just use this aluminum plate and then I have I drilled a hole in the bottom of that a hole in the top and then I drilled a small hole for the spring which I actually found just off an old lawnmower the uh, the pull handles that down at the bottom by the engine have usually have a spring, so I just had that laying around. Whatever spring would work, uh, you could probably use the spring off the kickstand if you don't use the Doodlebug kickstand. Uh, and then I used the spa a spacer in here. Um, and here's a picture of the uh, old setup I had, which actually would have worked fine. Um, it had the original tensioner and the original spacer and everything. Uh, but what happened is this bolt. This, this nut down on the back of here um, I just used a regular nut I didn't have the right size lock nut and that came off and that just destroyed that uh, regular pulley so I now have two nuts on there locked together or you could use a single lock nut and then what I used is just a skateboard wheel and then I uh, I basically channeled it out so the chain fits in there now nice now and it's not gonna fall off uh, so that actually took a while so it's unfortunate I just didn't put a lock nut on in the first place. But now that it's all done, it's nice, the chain's not going anywhere, and since I drilled a second hole, you, I think could still actually put this mounting plate, I mean the uh, chain guard on, which I don't use the back chain guard just because it doesn't add any safety, I don't think. Uh, it just seems to get in the way more than anything. If the chain was to pop off, it's harder to put back on. And I definitely recommend having the clutch cover. Uh, that's like a necessary thing. But the, the rear cover I don't use. But I'm going to try to put it on just to make sure it will fit with the chain tension. Okay, so as you can see, it does in fact fit. Everything still functions, I think. Yep. Uh, so if you do like having the chain guard on, if it just looks better, whatever. For whatever reason you might want that, it will work. Um, so if you have even the stock doodle bug, it's probably worth upgrading to this. Uh, just so you always have a good chain tension. Uh, now, when you do... When you do this, you want to line it up and just cut your spacer to the correct length so it's perfectly centered on the chain. You don't want it uh, to one side because then it could eat up your pulley. Um, now the bearings that came in that is what I put in the skateboard wheel. They're actually pretty good, so <laughs> I didn't have to use any other bearings. Uh, so, especially if you have the 6.5 horse, I would definitely recommend doing this modification. It's pretty much free, assuming you have some junk laying around. So, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all in the next video.